Article 13. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a five-year lease purchase agreement for two Mac cab over trucks with Labrie automated side loader body units in the amount of $620,000 and to raise and appropriate the sum of $124,000 to fund said lease purchase agreement in year one, said lease purchase agreement shall contain a non-appropriation clause. This is a special warrant article per RSA 32,7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the purchase purchases are completed or by March 31st, 2023, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 9-0. The fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2018 tax impact on $124,000 is 3.7 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 13? Moved by Ms. Griff uh, Ms. Barnes, seconded by Mr. Griffin. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I'd like to present an uh, amendment to this article. All right. And um, what is your amendment? I would like to add the word trash um, under the description of the truck mat cab over trash trucks. Okay. And I would like to also strike the last line in the first paragraph. This is a special warrant article per RSA 32-7-6 and shall not lapse until purchases are completed on or by March 31st, 2023, whichever is sooner. All right. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Griffin. So we have the proposed language. Um, Ms. Barnes, would you like to speak to your um, amendment? I believe this is just housekeeping issue primarily. Okay. Uh, Mr. Gerald, is there a um, significance to having that um, 32 colon 7 language deleted? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Moderator. The Department of Revenue Administration reviews all warrant articles uh, in advance of the meeting. And because this is a five-year lease purchase agreement, uh, the Department of Revenue in insisted that in order to uh, have a majority vote only required that the special warrant article sentence be stricken. Okay. All right. Anyone wishing to be heard on the amendment? Kind of a housekeeping amendment. Seeing none, all those. Should it be trash slash recycling? Well, our amendment is trash. Um, so, all those in favor of the uh, Barnes amendment, raise your voter card. Thank you. Down cards. Any opposed? Uh, the amendment is passed. Anyone wishing to be heard on Article 13 as amended? Anybody wishing? Mr. Jacobs. Um, Chris Jacobs, Director of Public Works. Uh, it was uh, at the urging of the board um, that uh, we did a, a decent amount of research, a lot of research, um, in working with vendors um, and, and suppliers basically to dissolve what was a half a million dollar warrant article for new trucks that we would just purchase outright to uh, lease, lease purchase. And um, in working with uh, Mac and, and working with Labrie, that's the uh, vendor that we typically always use, all of our trucks, the, the rear portion that actually handles the, the refuse is um, their Labrie's. Um, that's what works. So we can literally lease these, uh, two of these trucks for a total of 124000 um, that would get us over a major hurdle. Um, many people, you may not be aware, the original trucks back in 2011 cost $74,000 each. The, the Labrie portion that we added ramped them up to another, um, another 100000 But last year alone, we spent $85,000 repairing these three trucks. So essentially every year, you as taxpayers have been rebuying the truck. Uh, I'm trying to sever that high cost of maintenance uh, by getting uh, two newer trucks um, that would allow us to um, trade in, once we get these, to trade in those two trucks the next time around. But um, right now, this is in an effort to, um, as I say, reduce our vehicle maintenance, your vehicle maintenance line, and that, that very high expenditure. Uh, Someone asked me before, does it need to say trash and recycling? Well, it's just like manure. Manure is not fertilizer until you put it into your garden. Either way, it's still, it's still manure. 
So trash and recycling, it's not really recycling till I deliver recyclables, i.e. newspapers, cans, bottles, till I deliver them to Bill Ricca. Um, up until that, we do generally call it trash. Coke, Pepsi, doesn't really matter. So um, that's the, this is a really, it's a cost-saving measure for the town. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Ms. Wolsey, do you wish to be heard on Article 13? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Yes, I do. I have great respect for Mr. Jacobs and the Public Works Department, but I refuse to vote for any more trucks in that department until the Board of Selectmen takes the matter in hand and gets rid of the commercial waste pickup. It's a disgrace. We're wearing out our manpower. We're wearing out our vehicles. In 2011, we passed a $1.3 million bond to buy the three big mechanical packers and 9,800 carts. Enough is enough. Those mechanicals were never spec'd out properly. The uh, public works director at the time, who was a nice person, had no experience in public waste pickup. <laughs> and uh, he ended up by ordering three mechanical packers off the shelf that were never put to the use that they should have been. I want to see a complete review of the entire inventory of public works vehicles and uh, accessories, and I would hope the next Board of Selectmen will sit down and do that. We need to figure out where we're going with this waste. We are crippling the Public Works Department, putting the health of the employees at risk, overworking people in the summer months, seven days a week, with 26 carts in front of one business. We cannot keep doing this. I am absolutely opposed. Thank you, Ms. Wilsey. Uh, Mr. Griffin. I want to speak in favor of this very much so. It's um, been a wonderful experience to live in Hampton to see the big improvements these trucks have made. And I'm sorry I wasn't here the night that um, this was voted on by the Board of Selectmen. I'm very much in support of it and keeping Hampton the way it is today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Article 13 will appear on the ballot as printed.